All right, Chris, thank you. Well, could there be another curtain call for Bay City's historic state theater? After becoming embroiled in controversy and filing for bankruptcy, it hit the market last month at $483,000. According to court records, a bid of $630,000 was accepted on July 17th. And as James Felton reports, that news is music to the ears of nearby business owners. I'm very excited for it to be back open. Um, you know, with the wedding industry, they held a lot of weddings, and I think that will really help the community in bringing more people to the area. Tara Nip owns First Look Bridal Boutique and Tuxedo located across the street from the State Theater in Bay City. According to U.S. bankruptcy court records, James White, a Boyne City resident, placed a bid for $630,000. That bid was accepted by a court trustee. Nip has a wish list for the State Theater's new potential owner. Honestly, some renovations to the outside might not be a bad idea. Um, there's like, you know, chipping paint, and I think it needs a revamp. But other than that, I would hope, my hope would be to keep the name and to keep the staple that it is in the community. Word of a potential sale of the State Theater is warmly welcomed at Tavern 101 in Bay City. That's exciting news. I mean, they always used to bring a bunch of events into our town and excited to bring in some new business to Bay City. Chris Pappas is the bar manager. He thinks the rebirth of the State Theater will be good for everyone's bottom line. Whenever there's new stuff going on in town, you know, it brings revenue to every single place around here, but just it, us, you know, it'll help us definitely. Court records reflect that the $630,000 offer accepted for the State Theater is well above the asking price of $483,000 and is believed to be a fair price. The records go on to say that the sales process was fair and within the trustees' sound business discretion. As for Nip, she's optimistic a return of the State Theater would have a positive impact on her business. I think with the, the way that it was ran with the free entertainment and around Christmas time, it's really nice how they offer to use the front of the space as a starting point for the carriage rides and everything. I think that it just draws a lot of people to the community. That was James Felton. We've made repeated calls to James White, but have not heard back. It's not a done deal just yet. It still needs to be finalized by the U.S. Bankruptcy Court.